this video was covered on NBC, NBC Latino. That's that's whom I pitched. Um, but just to go back to the core essence of public relations, well, one of the, one of the um, important factors here is to develop relationships. These things don't happen overnight. I met the editor in chief of NBC Latino in a conference in Miami, and a few months later, it occurred to me, hey. I should tell him to visit our factory. Had I not met him, had I not followed up with him after I met him, probably this would not have happened. But um, anyways, he appointed um, a reporter from LA to come visit our factory. And it not only aired on NBC Latino, it aired on dozens of air um, web um, affiliates, sorry, affiliates nationwide, and it also aired globally because NBC owns a lot um, of, of, of TV stations. So I'm just going to show you, this is really what we do. We place stories where it makes sense. Step into the wonderful world of making music. And while it's not quite the first sound you think of when you hum your favorite song, enter the Fender factory in Southern California and you feel like you've discovered music's birthplace. Each guitar goes through hours and hours of transformation by hands, many of which are Latino. Latino hands that have become legends in the music industry. I am a master builder at the Fender Custom Shop. John Cruz, a physical force with a pristine eye for detail. Rock stars like John Mayer seek out the master. It's the holy grail of guitars coming from Fender. I mean, we build guitars for the best, the best of the best. Abigail Ibarra is a soft-spoken woman in her 70s. Her touch sought after by greats like Eric Clapton. I wind guitar pickups and that is what makes the sound in the, in the guitar. But it all starts with just a block of wood. Each guitar personally crafted fret by fret and tested string by string. $3,000. You don't have to be a rock star or even a proficient guitar player to come rock out at the Fender factory. Just come on down to the jam room and play a chord or two. <laughs> As it turns out, you don't have to play the guitar to work here either. I can build the guitar, can play it. Leo can play it either, so I don't feel too bad. Leo Fender, that is. The man who helped revolutionize the sound of pop music into modern rock and helped make Abigail Ibarra a star in her own right, now known as the Queen of Tone. I can never get used to this interviews or people wanting my autograph. They always want to know what is that I'm doing. I'm just doing my job. Your with a whole lot of love, dated. making a musician's best friend. In Corona, California, Norma Rubio, NBC Latino. Okay. Oh, thank you. So as you can see, just to talk back to what we were discussing, the angles. I thought, okay, I met the editor-in-chief of NBC Latino. Hmm, guitars, how can they tie in? Well, as, as you saw in the video, a lot of the people that work in our factory in Corona are of Hispanic descent. So you just gotta really think outside the box, what angles, like if you're a single mom, if you're um, whatever, you know, just think of, of different things that you could pitch. Really, just don't think about the obvious. Yeah, it's, it's you, what you have to do.